Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Bose from the 19th hole, and we're here to play hole number three of the new Eagle Point course. This is part of the Fall Major Tournament. Uh, this is a par five. Um, we are going to play the shots at the left side and uh, hopefully set ourselves up for an albatross attempt. Uh, you can also play this shot to the right side, as you're going to see uh, my opponent Gary doing. Uh, I would definitely recommend a power three ball, full top spin, and a little bit of left spin. Not much, just a little bit. Uh, and hopefully we'll be getting some sort of a tailwind for this hole in the tournament. Um, and you're going to see uh, you know, Mr. Gary uh, take this shot with extra mile seven uh, and still be okay uh, with his shot. Uh, but with the tailwind, you know, it's really not going to matter what size um, extra mile you have. You should still be okay. As you see, he lands it clearly with plenty of distance, and he's going to get a nice roll up the fairway, uh, and he gives himself a shot at the green uh, for his second shot. Make note of that big bunker in front of the hole. All right, so for our shot right here, we're going left. We're going with the katana ball. I want to maximize my left spin here on this shot as much topspin as I can do. We're going to aim this one, you know, a couple bars off the edge of the uh, the rough line there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're not going to adjust for the wind because it's really not that much, but we are going to adjust 11 rings to the right for our power shot with the extra mile five. Full curl left with a little bit, just not completely overpower, but pretty much overpower. Full left hook. And we hit the shot perfect, rolling it down the fairway. And it's going to put us right in line with the green. Now, if you've never taken a shot like that, and you may say, what the heck is that? That's I call that the power hook. And if you go on to golfclash.io, there is a section that talks about uh, power hook shots. And there is a graph that tells you about how many rings you need to adjust um, your shot, depending on what kind of driver you have. The extra mile five, it's right around 11 rings. Um, you know, if I was using my... Uh, extra mile seven or my Thor four, it would be a 15 ring adjustment. So it's different depending on the driver that you use. You can find that information on golfclashnotebook.io. As you see my opponent's second shot here, he's got to really work um, hard. Uh, he's, he doesn't want to go into that bunker, so he's going to have to basically use the back of the screen uh, as a backstop. You can go more directly at the hole if you want on that shot. Um, but you will be using the back of the, uh, the, the green and then that extended fairway past the green uh, to kind of use that as the backboard and then just roll the ball back down the hole uh, to the hole. Chance at the albatross with that shot, but I think this shot right here is the better chance. Uh, especially you have a sniper. Uh, you have that extended ball guy. That will really help you on this shot. Uh, but we're going to go with the Viper. So we're going to go with a little bit of backspin. Uh, aim the edge of that ball guide right there, kind of at the edge of the, uh, the fringe of the green. Now we're going to adjust about one and a half rings for our wind. And take our shot here. We hit it perfect, so let's see what kind of a, a bounce and roll we get. There's the bounce, rolling onto the green, and go, 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 go. Not too bad of a first try on this hole. Definitely a lot of promise, in my opinion. Uh, so now you've seen this hole played left and right. Now it's your turn to get out there on the practice greens and find out which way works best for you. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. See you all Monday.